What up, Laker Nation? Here with your boy Kareem, aka Mr. Hundred Likes. How you guys doing? Wow. Let's get to it. Let's get to it, man. We inching, we inching closer and closer to the off season, man. Hopefully, Denver wrap this thing up, man. Hope they wrap this thing up by the weekend, man. I love for it to be done by the weekend, man. Let's get to this off season, man. Let's get to this off season. Hope Denver can win the next two games, and we could get to the off season, man. You know, let's get it. Let's get it, man. But before I get to my, oh man, that Joker, man. If he win the title this year, I have that conversation. I don't want to talk about it right now. But that guy is a beast. He's a beast. He's a true, yo, man. You cannot mention a B and him in the same breath after this. You can't. You cannot. Because even before this, see, the thing is, we we had to really start. When a guy got a history not showing, this is what we got to do. This is exactly what we had to start doing. Now, if a guy didn't really make the playoffs as much, let's say you compare a guy like, I'm just throwing a name out there, like a, a Jalen Brown. Jalen Brown been making the playoffs his whole career, right? And let's say who else came in around that time? Let's say someone like that don't have that much playoffs experience, but came, they real good. But they came around the same time Jalen Brown came around. But they playing better. They people consider him a better player than Jalen Brown. But Jalen Brown have a lot of playoff experience, and this guy don't. Maybe went to the playoffs, probably lost in the first round, five one. I mean four one or some stuff like that. Then it's like kind of hard. But when you start comparing guys and 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 like a guy for instance, like a Jimmy Butler and a Paul George. When you start comparing where Paul George had playoff history, or, or James, I ain't gonna say Paul George, James Harden. James Harden got a lot of playoffs in history, and Jimmy Butler has a lot of playoffs history. Then we had to really, really start with this playoffs. Now the same with uh, a B and Jokic. Even before this, let's let's just just scratch um, this year, like all season people. Oh, B is better. B is better. Now, B been in the league since 2014. They both had some playoff, been in the playoff. Jokic been in and um went to the conference finals already. But Jokic been been playing well. Like, you know what I mean? A B second round, the last every year, last year against Miami. He choked he choked last year against Miami when they lost to Miami. He do this the last Elimination game, the last two, uh, even five and six, or game six and seven, he chokes up. We got to start rewarding playoffs, man. And, and I mean, guys with big, big, like long history, not one year in a playoff. You, you can't, like, you know what I mean? But that Jokic is a beast, man. I love watching him play, man. He, it's like he's so hard to guard because you don't know where to. It's, let me get to him and talk about, man, because this, this guy's official. He's official tissue for real. You know what I'm saying? He'd play in any era. Like, he would translate in the 90s. Early 2000s, he could translate. Now, let's get to it. Lakers number one target this offseason. The guy who, I, he the number one guy I want, Najri. Najri is, is, all y'all have to do, just go look at this man highlights if y'all don't know nothing about him. I'd send watch this game besides highlights. But I'm just giving y'all that. Nasri is official. <clears throat> Nasri will be the biggest pickup the Lakers can make this offseason. Nasri got a tremendous handle. He could shoot with his score, his left hand, right hand. He could score from the outside. He runs the floor. He rebounds. He he don't he chase down blocks. He do a lot of different things. And the reason why I'm starting to feel more confident, more and more. Why well, I'm hearing he don't want to um, play in Minnesota. Reasons why. You got Cat and Gobert there. It don't make any sense. It don't make any sense to go. Now, I'd really be putting in work, playing 17 minutes a game and putting in a lot of work. So, it don't really make no sense um, with going back to Minnesota. And another thing is this. Making a, a Gobert or a Cat trade, because they said, you hear rumors that they may trade one of them, you know, because they want to keep Nas Reed. It's not easy making trades like that. Those two max contracts, two 
all-star uh, players and big dogs in their in their own right. It's not easy to make a cat trade. It's not easy to make a a, a Rudy Gobert trade. So you can easily see it, that trade uh, come about like after the draft. Easy. It, it, it's those trades maybe. You know, second week of July, you might can make that trade. Look, the Gobert got traded after the um, start of the uh, NBA free agency. Those trades is not easy to make. So now it's really going to have to make a decision as his free agency start July 1st. So the Lakers, the Lakers can make that offer and, and get him. If I'm the Lakers, that's my number one priority is getting this guy here. Get him in, in the building. And the good thing, the most important thing that we really got to look at, LeBron James tweeted, and LeBron James loved Nas Reed. He loves Nas Reed. LeBron James said Nas Reed got a whole lot of game. And he a big fan of Nas Reed. So that's big right there. You got LeBron, and that's a call that, you know what I mean? Not that I'm not the type of person to say, oh, they always need to go with the players say. I'm not because a lot of players don't know about the NBA. They just want to skip players. It had to be fit and, and everything had to line up right. But Nas Reed is the answer. And I think that we at Laker Nation, a lot of people, man, wants Nas Reed on the Lakers. And rightfully so, man. He can easy play with. He, he He's versatile. He can easy play with Anthony Davis. He loved the bang. He would get down there and block shots. He would dunk on you. He do it all, man. He runs the floor. He could dribble. He solid passer. Man, Najri to the Lakers, man. Book it.